Reports last night on September 17, Russian armed forces deactivated 35 soldiers and 20 seriously injured from the 35th Marine Brigade Armed Forces of Ukraine, near Andrievsky on Kherson front. In the last few days, they had crossed Ingolitz River to try to break through the front line of defense. Russian troops were waiting for these men in the fading Ukrainian counterattack. Despite the statements of Ukrainian commander about the successes in the south, the losses were not worth the results. This can be seen from the reduction in the numeral of services men sent to the massacre to maintain the line of defense on the left bank of Ingolitz River. Front South. View of one of Ukrainian positions near the Ingolitz River, after Russian missile attack on the dam. It seems that the trench of Ukrainian army was sunk by the flood of the river, and turned into a pond. Under shelling by Russian troops, the Ukrainians continued to cross Ingolitz River to attack in Kherson region. Footage on September 15, shows a Turkish armored vehicle, BMC Kirpi crossing the riverbank filled with destroyed Ukrainian equipment. In another crossing, Ukrainian troops was thwarted by a Russian Ka-52 helicopter, as they crossed a pontoon bridge at the junction of the village of Ternovka on Ingolitz River. Two long-range guided missiles were fired from attack helicopters and hit the bridge. The first missile was aimed at hitting a military pickup truck that was crossing the bridge during the attack. The active use of Ka-52 reconnaissance and attack helicopters became an effective flying tank in Ukraine. Footage shows during one of the missions a few days ago the target was fired. On Ingolitz River, the water level rose, breaking the crossing erected by Ukrainian troops from the right to the left bank, near the border of Kherson region. Now, armed forces of Ukraine are completely left without supplies and are surrounded by Russian armed forces, and continue to attack. 